hello welcome back to my channel before we get into the video i just want to say one thing subscribe 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 we are pretty close to a thousand subscribers and i really want to see how quick we can get there so just go ahead and help a girl out and hit that subscribe button i'll wait all right on to the video Yesterday I filmed the video and when it came down to it, I ended up not liking the video. And today I was like, well, Jasmine, you have to post something. So I came up with the idea of redoing my get to know me video because the last video that I did that was about getting to know me was almost five years ago. And I don't really like that video and I've changed a lot since then. Question number one, what is your full name and why? My name is Jasmine LeRae Valentine and I was named after my father's sisters. So he has an older sister named Tania LeRae Johnson and a younger sister named Kiera Jasmine Valentine. So he took both of their middle names and gave them to me, making Jasmine LeRae Valentine. It's very often that someone will ask me what my name is and I'll tell them and they'll be like, ooh, that's like a celebrity name. And I'm just like, I can only dream, but I love my name, yes. Yeah. So the, the day that I get married, it'll be a sad one. In fact, the other day, my dad told me that I need to marry someone with the name Valentine so that way we can carry on the last name. And I was like, Dad, the odds of me meeting someone with that last name is very slim, but okay. <laughs> Question number two, how old are you? I'm 20 years old and I turned 21 this year. Question number three, where are you from? I was born in Killeen, Texas. Then I lived in Chicago, Illinois for about a year. Then after that, I moved to Savannah, Georgia and have been living here ever since. Number four. Okay. Would you say that you're more of an extrovert or an introvert? I used to believe that I was an extrovert because I thought of myself as a people person. You know, I, I liked being around people. I liked meeting new people, getting to know new people, hanging out, just, you know. But the older I get, the more I realize that's not the case. <laughs> In fact, most of the time, I'd rather be alone. So I'm definitely an introvert. What are your hobbies and how did you get into them? I currently have two hobbies. One being running and two being a YouTube creator. I tried out for my middle school track team in seventh grade and was cut from the tryouts. And for the remainder of the school year, I ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and ran and ran every day. Then I tried out for track eighth grade and I made the team, made varsity even, did really well. Then I went off to high school, got hurt, tried out for track in ninth grade, got cut. Then I tried out in 10th grade, made the team, made varsity. Then in 11th grade, I went to state on varsity. And then 12th grade, I quit. But I also ran cross country for not even a whole season, but I did that in 10th grade. And my grades started to slip, so my mom took me out. But I loved it. Like cross country made me realize that I love long distance running more than anything. And when I was on cross country, I made varsity as well. I did two half marathons and now I'm training for a marathon. I got into YouTube because my friend Rebecca, she told me to make one. One day in like freshman year of high school, we just sat down and we were like, let's just film, so. Number six, if I could only eat one food for the rest of my life, what would it be? I would only eat rice. I love rice. White rice, basmati, jasmine, fried. If I had to eat rice every day, like, I don't think I'd be upset. What is my favorite sleeping position? I like to sleep on my side, facing the door. Because I feel like if anyone breaks in, I would have more of an advantage rather than if I was facing away from the door because then I'd have to turn over and see someone about to stab me. Whereas if I was already facing them, I could save a little bit of time. Number eight, what's your go-to guilty pleasure? Compulsively eating 
strawberry starburst. Number nine, how old were you when you had your first celebrity crush and who was it? I was in seventh grade and his name is Mike Vitar. He's not my celebrity crush anymore, but it was from that baseball movie that everyone saw as a kid. What's it called? Oh my God. So the movie is called The Sand Lot and I had never seen it until I was in seventh grade. And it's the guy who plays Benny Rodriguez. He's not the main character, but he's like the best guy on the baseball team that they like created. Number 10, which meal is my favorite? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? I would have to say dinner. 11, what song always gets you out on the dance floor? Speaker knockers, freak ho. Number 12, ideally, how would you spend your birthday? I don't know, I don't know, but like, it's definitely something, it's gotta be good, it's gotta be good. If you guys stick around until my 21st birthday, which is in November, I will show you what my ideal birthday plan is like. Number 13, what's the phone app that you use the most? My phone is heating up, so I had to turn the AC back on, so sorry. To answer the question though, the app that takes up most of my time is iMovie, because that's the app I've been using to edit my videos for a long time. Number 14, how would your 10 year old self react to what you do now? My 10 year old self wanted to be a singer. So she'd probably be really disappointed or confused and be like, what is this? Like, why are, why are you joining the army? Number 15, how old were you when you started working? I got my first job at 16 years old. Number 16, what's the worst job you've ever had? The worst job I ever had was last summer when I worked at a gas station. And I only lasted one week. I stood on my feet all day. It was my first full-time job. I only lasted five days. Um, I only worked Monday through Friday that week, but I didn't like the job at all. A lot of people would come in and start like flirting with me and they're like grimy and like, I didn't like the environment. And I'm not saying that I'm better than anyone else, but like, these people would come in just dirty and I'm like, could you at least like, I don't know, like, and then selling cigarettes, like, I don't want to know, I don't want to sell cigarettes. Customers would be upset when I wouldn't know what kind of cigarette they wanted. There's like 8,000 different kinds of cigarettes for one, for one brand alone. Like, there's like, I can't even remember, but like, you would have to memorize them and then you'd have to like ID them and like, sometimes kids would come in and ask for, trying to buy like nicotine products or alcohol and then you'd be like, let me see your ID. And then they'd be like, oh, I left it in the car. And then they would never come back. <laughs> and so, uh, uh, and then the, the thing that made me quit, though, like the final straw was when one of my coworkers told me this story about how there used to be a girl that worked there before me who got fired because she was receiving oral sex at one of the pumps by a trucker. Like the trucker asked her if he could go down on her and if he could pay her. And she said yes and let him with the cameras on. Like the cameras are watching while she's on the clock and I'm like this is like the dirtiest <laughs> when I heard that I knew like I was like Jasmine pack your bag sis we are not coming back like that's it <laughs> yeah I was like there is no way I am working here any longer number 17 when will you know that you've made it I'll know that I've made it when I am driving my luxury sedan or my mom car and I've got my two beautiful children in their car seats and my husband waiting for me at home because he's cooking and I'm just going shopping with the kids or something or picking them up or something I don't know and I've got a stable job that I love I've got money to be comfortable a great family a beautiful home stable career just that point in your life where you're like, I'm comfortable. That point in your life where you're like, yes, this is it. Number 18, who are you closest to and why? I'm closest to my older sister, Faith, because we grew up together. She's the closest family member to me in age. She's there whenever I need her. She's the bearer of all my secrets and she's not judgmental at all. She's down to earth, hilarious. We've got a similar sense of humor except that she laughs at like a lot of her own jokes that aren't funny <laughs> so that's where we differ but like I mean it's my sister so number 19 do you want a family of your own I kind of already answered this but 
absolutely my phone overheated so it stopped recording and i had to move into the shade but on to the next question number 20 do you ever wish you were raised differently yes so when i was growing up my parents divorced and then my dad remarried and i guess you could say that it was a broken home but in hindsight and you hear other people with like parents that are still together and like you know they have a lot more money because their parents have the dual income coming in or like kids who you know when they turn 16 they get a brand new car or like you know there's always like a lot of things that i wish were different not to say that i'm not happy with how everything turned out because you know i'm very fortunate with everything that i have but growing up you don't really think about that yeah there were times where i was like man i wish i were just born rich but if you're still watching thank you so much for coming along please subscribe for more content if you're interested i post videos at least three times a week and i will see you guys next time with another new video bye